Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Iron Anchor Cycles. I'm Shep and we're back with another product spotlight video on something new that we think is pretty cool. And what that is, is a new yellow light bar from Custom Dynamics. Now, there's been a lot of light bars around. Custom Dynamics has made them for a while. This one in particular though, we think is pretty cool for two reasons. Number one is the features of it and how it works. And number two is the price. So let's talk about the features of it first. Obviously it's yellow. You've got six high intensity LEDs here. This light is super bright, super compact, works super well. And as we'll show you, super easy to install. The other benefit, the price is that this thing is 40 bucks retail. So they're really inexpensive. Uh, this is a nice little upgrade for what it says on here is a Dyna, a Softail, or a Sportster. Now, you can make this work on just about anything if you've got a little bit of creativity, but basically what they're telling you is that the mounting brackets that it comes with are set up to work with those bikes. We'll talk a little bit more about that uh, once we unbox it, which I think we'll do now. So we take it out of the box. There's not a lot in here. Um, you've got some hardware, the light, and a bracket. And so we've got some small cap head screws in here. We've got a bolt, which we're probably not gonna use. And we've got a little Allen wrench for those uh, cap head screws. Now, what's worth looking at more than that stuff is the light itself and the bracket that comes with it. So light obviously has a yellow lens on there and then it comes with a nice length wiring harness and it's got what it looks like is the same as like a factory plug. I'll hold that up there closer so you can see it you're probably not gonna use this plug, uh, but it's there and it works with the wiring harness that they have, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, but basically the simplest way to wire this in, depending on what you're looking to do, is just uh, take this connector off and you've got a positive and a negative lead and you can tap that into whatever you want. What we're gonna do today on the dyno we're installing this on is just tap this into the high beam circuit so that this light will come on with the high beam on the bike. Makes it real simple, real clean, and takes about 10 minutes to install. So in addition to that, there's a little bracket that comes with this and basically that's gonna go on here. You're gonna use the cap head screws on either side and then you've got this bracket that obviously can pivot around. Now, what we're gonna do is set this up so that this bracket is on the top and we're gonna use the headlight mount bolt that runs up through the bottom of the lower triple tree to mount the headlight on top. We're gonna put this in under the triple tree and this is gonna sandwich real close right under that triple tree. Now that particular setup will work on a 49 millimeter front end. So whatever bike you've got that's got that, this will work really well in that way. That said, if you've got a bike with a 39 millimeter front end, there is another solution. And that is this adapter block that Custom Dynamics also sells. Now, the reason that you need to do this differently is because this light is wider than the opening on the 39 millimeter front ends. So on the 49s, it'll slide right in there, but on the 39s, it needs to stick out proud of those uh, fork tubes. So what this is gonna do is this block is gonna mount uh, via the screw that would connect your ABS block or your T block, if you don't have ABS, under the triple tree. So this will go in between there and then the light will mount, this bracket will turn and go facing the rear way like this. And then this bracket, hopefully you can see that, will come on the back. And then you can put this and move it around anywhere you need and you'll get it so that it's still nice and tight below the triple tree, but it's gonna stick out a little bit or out a little bit from uh, the fork so it'll fit. So that's pretty easy. This is inexpensive too. Uh, we'll have the links to all these products in the description below the video so you can check them out. One last thing to show you, Custom Dynamics also has a wiring harness that at least on the light side is plug and play. That's what that little connector is gonna be for. But basically what you're gonna do with this is you're gonna connect it into a power source on your bike and then it's got a little switch and see that there. So if you want to be able to turn this on anytime, you can run this harness. Uh, you just gotta find a place to mount the switch, requires a little bit more wiring. I think just tapping into the headlight circuit is probably the easiest and cleanest way to do it. So that's what we're gonna do. So to that end, doing the install, uh, there's a million videos out there on how to install these kinds of lights. So I'm not gonna get super, super into it, but what I will show you is uh, the way we're gonna do it. So over here, we've got the headlight that we took off of our Dyna. And this is already, already obviously got an upgraded uh, LED uh, headlight in here and we've taken it off and we've disconnected the quick connect from inside the neck of the bike. So real simple, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap into these two wires, uh, which are with our high beam circuit and our ground wire, 
and that will power that light. And we will make those connections all the way back here by the plug so that that lives inside the, bike, the neck of the bike. It's protected and also it'll look clean. And out from that right side hole on the frame, we're gonna have two wires that come out and one will go to the headlight and one will go to the uh, new light that we're gonna mount directly below it. So this will all still be modular and it can come off. If you ever need to take your headlight off, uh, you're not gonna be you know, stuck with wires somewhere and you'll be able to take that light off as well. So we're gonna go ahead and make these connections. We'll show you what that looks like and then we'll cut to showing you putting it on the bike and we'll let you see what it looks like. So stick around and stay tuned and we'll get this done. All right, so pretty simple, just got these Connections soldered and connected in. Uh, I taped it all up already, so unfortunately you're not gonna be able to see exactly what I did here, but just gonna strip back your high beam wire, which is the white one, and your ground wire, which is the black one. Tap these in, and now you got two lights hooked up to one plug. Like I said, real simple. We're gonna go and throw this on a bike, see what it looks like. Okay, so here it is, all installed. We've got the LED light bar mounted below the lower triple tree. The pigtail, as we made it, kind of comes around the triple tree, headlight portion on top, light bar portion on the bottom plugs in underneath. All we had to do was pop the fairing off to get the stuff off, put it on, put it back on. Real simple, it takes about 10 minutes. So turn this on here. So obviously that is low beam and then high beam. So both those come on obviously, real simple. And you've got that momentary button too, and that's all gonna work really well. So just get them aimed the way you want and that's how it goes. So I think personally, it looks pretty sick, and I guess we'll have to see at night how bright it winds up being, but given the number of LEDs on this thing, I cannot imagine it's gonna be anything less than significant. So for 40 bucks, it's one of the best values and best money I think you can spend on something super easy uh, that'll make a big difference. So if you're interested in learning more about it, or if you wanna buy one even, check out our website. Link is in the description below. All those other accessories, if you've got one of the other bikes, will be down there too as well. So that's gonna do it for us. We'll see you next time.